Well, uh, these are my two. So this is uh, this is Lockie Richo and Ben Richo. Um, they come away on the camp to Queenstown for a couple of reasons. Probably almost to spend some time with their old man, but um, they, they've been able to help, which has been good. Obviously, uh, obviously Pete Madden does a super job, but you get a couple of uh, young volunteers that are fit and healthy. It's been uh, been really beneficial to our to our footy sessions. Um, it's been a great opportunity for them to uh, to get to meet the guys, and um, whilst it's, it's much more about the players, but it's been yeah, it's been terrific for them, and it's been great for for me because um, it, it is a challenge out there. I don't get to see the boys play footy all that often. Um, they, uh, you know, they're pretty, they're pretty active with respect to their own sporting lives, and, you know, because of our footy commitments, and, and we know what we sign up for. It's, um, it's full time, and I love it, and I, I, would, I wouldn't change a thing. But this is just a great opportunity to be able to bring them away and spend some time. I guess it's pretty amazing to have um, ten days in a row with Dad. Um, during the footy season, usually after a game, he's pretty grumpy. We can tell when he walks through the door. He stomps like an elephant. He doesn't speak to us for about 10 minutes. But um, this 10 days at Queenstown is just fantastic. Well, he's in a good mood. Oh, we do get to spend a bit of time with him, but he's always got those trips heading over to Perth or whatever. Good when he comes home, bad when he has a loss, but it's always good, especially coming out here for a 10 day trip. It's been amazing. So. Today we've, we've walked together for five and a half hours. It wasn't much fun doing it, but it was great to complete it. Uh, the first part of the walk was with Ben, and I spent a bit of time rotating through some players, and then the, the last bit, I just about had to carry Lockie over the line. He was, he was cooked. No, that's not true. He's pretty good. So, no, they're, they're, they're great. They're bonding opportunities. They're, they're fantastic to be able to spend time and bond through adversity and challenge and, and you don't really get these opportunities unless you're involved at that elite level as our players do. So for, for these young boys to get away, it's a great opportunity for them, but uh, it, it's, it's really a significant opportunity for me to spend some real time with them. Um, they've done the bike, you know, bike riding for, for three hours, we've, we've rafted together, we've, um, uh, you know, we've done a bit, so it's, um, no, it's been really, really satisfying. I, I think we can all agree our favourite fishing spot is Eildon. Yeah. We uh, used to go there when we were younger, camp out for a couple of days. Um, that's always been fun. Not so fun when we don't catch anything, which is usually. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's really good. Um, now they give their own man a bit of stick because we do go fishing often. Uh, without success, but I, I remind them that it's not about what we're doing, it's about where we are and who we're with. It's quality time, it's a bit like golf and some of those other um, those other hobbies people have, but that's great, it's it's really good fun. Ben's, Ben's a terrible fisherman, so I'm not sure what, the, what he has to say for himself, but Lockie's a bit of a goer. Benjamin? Oh, I can cast. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it comes as usual, but yeah, it's good fun. Yeah, I guess we get asked a lot of questions at school. Like, a lot of questions. Like, who to put in their super coach. <laughs> that happens a lot. Oh, I've never been into super coach, so I don't quite get it, but I presume it's predominantly based on statistics. Um, so I don't give him much, no. No, I really like the fact that he got the job at St Kilda because it's pretty much been his ambition for a while. So um, we went off to um, Milford Sound in a helicopter. That was really amazing. Um, I got to bring um, along our video camera, record a lot of good images. Um, I guess it was really awesome touching down on the top of this huge mountain with a view of a lifetime. And it's really good to um, try and throw snowballs at Dad and Ben. <laughs> One of Dad's usuals is when we order Thai food. Yeah. And at the end, after he's hung up, he'll ask for a crocodile sandwich. And that is every single phone call to the Thai restaurant. And make it snappy. Every time, yeah. And make it snappy. Yeah. yeah. So you say the joke. I'm not saying the joke, you told the joke, but <laughs> I'll have a crocodile sandwich, please, and make it snappy. And I always laugh. And they used to laugh. But I've forgotten that they don't laugh anymore, so I still do it. And the fact that it annoys them now means that I get more of a laugh, so <laughs> yeah, I like it.